In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light and hope to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestows through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, looked and there was the Lamb standing on Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty-four thousand who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. I heard a sound from heaven, like the sound of rushing water, or a loud peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpists playing their harps. They were singing what seemed to be a new hymn before the throne, before the four living creatures and the elders. No one could learn this hymn except the 144,000 who had been ransomed from the earth. These are the ones who follow the Lamb wherever He goes. They have been ransomed as the first fruits of the human race for God and the Lamb. On their lips, no deceit has been found. They are unblemished. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Please all stand. The 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. When Jesus looked up, he saw some wealthy people putting their offerings into the treasury, and he noticed a poor widow putting in two small coins. He said, I tell you truly, this poor widow put in more than all the rest. For those others have all made offerings from their surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has offered her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. When we hear the story of the widow's might, homilist would normally, usually, be developing along the theme of uh, sacrificial self-giving, of generosity. Yun ang palaging tema sa mga mga ngaral kung pag-usapan etong kwento tungkol sa barya ng balong na babae na ang tema ay tungkol sa kabutihang loob tungkol sa kagandahang loob and some homilists when they would develop an explanation or sharing of this story will tell you you have not given until you give sacrificially. Paminsan, sinasabihan tayo, give until it hurts. Ano ang ibig sabihin yan? Ano ang ipinahiwatig sa mga salitang yon? Kung ito'y ating mapakinggan, ano ang ibig sabihin yan? Para bang iminungkahi na hindi ikinatuwa ng Diyos, hindi siya nasiyahan sa mga sumusunod sa Kanya, sa mga sumasampalataya sa Kanya, hanggang yung namimigay ay magtiis, magdurusa. Di ba? Parang ganun yung ipinahiwatig kung sabihin natin, o you give until you hurt because that suggests God is not pleased with believers until the believing giver is suffering. That you resign yourself to a life of destitution. What is the proper insight of this gospel? That this is a misrepresentation of God's grace. And that is why today's gospel is not about teaching us concerning sacrificial self-giving. Merong mga ebanghelyo, may mga eksena sa ebanghelyo, kwento sa ebanghelyo kung saan doon itinuro ng Panginoon tungkol sa ating pagiging mapagbigay, mapagkawang gawa tungkol sa kabutihang loob, kagandahang loob. But this gospel we just heard proclaimed today is not teaching us about sacrificial self-giving. It is not designed to talk about the principles of giving. The gospel today is all about the violence of injustice that perpetuates poverty. Balong na babae, walang pera. Dalawang barya, yun ang ibig sabihin ng might, M-I-T-E. A Dutch word that simply means small coins, barya. And that is why a belief system, a religion built on the back of the poor is a false religion. It is a false religious system. Hindi po binati ni Jesus yung balong na babae 
sa ating ibanghelyo, hindi niya sinabing, Uy, pinagpala ka. Pinagpala ka dahil dinala mo yung sarili mo sa karalitaan. Hindi sinabi ng Panginoon ang kaharian ng Diyos para sa ganitong klasing mga tao na yung huling pera nila, wala na. Our Lord did not say the kingdom of God is like this poor widow who parted her final two coins so she would be living on the streets, begging on the streets, sleeping under bridges. Nakikita natin dito mismo sa ating bayan, sa ating lunsod, yung naninirahan, natutulog, sa kalsada, sa mga islands sa kalsada, yung iba nasa ilalim ng tulay. Gusto ba nila yon? Gusto ba natin yon? Yung iba, yung bubong nila, skyway, tama po ba yon? Ano sa palaghay niyo? So Jesus saw her action of giving her two coins to the temple treasury as a misguided choice. As a misguided choice. Kung tingnan natin yung kwentong ito, just as we would hear this same gospel two Sundays ago, 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, ito yung Ebanghelyo din, mapapansin natin, ah, iba pala, ang binigyang pansin ni Jesus sa ating Ebanghelyo. The truth is that Jesus was disgusted. Nasuya siya. With what he saw, he laments that this poor widow is a victim of the misguided value system of her time. So in other words, those authorities, the scribes, the Pharisees who, in Jesus' words, devour the houses of widows who represent this kind of value system that teaches you to part your savings, to part your possessions until you have none, to surrender everything to the leadership, whether in church, in government, is manipulative. It is abusive. Kaya yung pakikilahok ng balog na babae sa sistemang iyan, do, did we not see that it cost her everything? And it cost her more than it cost anybody else? Dahil nakita ng Panginoon, he noticed, oy, yung mga, mga mayayaman, they were giving, sure, to the temple treasury, but they were giving from their surplus. And this poor widow, this poor widow, pulubi na nga siya, ibinigay niya ang buong ikinabubuhay niya, yung kabuhayan niya, ibinigay niya. Tama po ba yun? So she is an example of the violence of poverty inflicted by a misguided, unjust value system. Whether that system is per perpetuated by a church or even by government, apparently. Dahil alam natin, the last thing God desires us is to make us widows. The last thing God desires of us is to make us widowers, to make us dirt poor. That will be the last thing God asks of us. So taken out of context, the, the story of the widows might seems to be an example of self-sacrificing generosity. Oy, magbigay ka. Hanggang wala kang wala ka na. You give until it hurts. No? no giving unless you are reduced to penury, to destitution. But taken in its proper context, this is what we learn. That Jesus calls us to focus even more on the widow, 
and those she represents. There is no praise for her. There is no invitation to imitate her. We are not to turn them into stories that inspire us to be better people. There will be other stories for that, but not this one. God gave us his law not to impoverish us, but to help us. So we are to see them as they are when they are suffering to the point of misery, to the point of destitution, and we are to see ourselves as we are inspired and called by faith to demand justice from our leaders, whether in government, in church, in business, or in other social status. So the story is all about community accountability. Stephen Covey would say that accountability breeds responsibility. Kahapon, ay nagbigay po ako ng funeral blessing. Not funeral mass, funeral blessing sa isa sa mga Eskenita, little streets in Makati, somewhere there. It was not really a very impoverished community, but you would see merong kahirapan. After the funeral blessing, may nag-abot. Alam natin kung ano yun, nasa envelope. And I said, thank you. Huwag na, nasa inyo na ho yan. It's for you. I did not accept it. Because sometimes we need to tell them. We need to tell the widow, the widower, those who lost, those who lost kings, family members and loved ones, not to give. Huwag na. Better that they stay, that these stay with your family. Yung ating dalangin ay ito lamang. Lord, you have shown us what to do. Give us the courage to stand by what we believe is your will for us. Show us how to say yes by learning to say no. Please stand. The widow in the temple gave everything she had. Her generosity humbles us. But let us be generous too in our prayers for others responding to the God who gives without ceasing. Our reply, God of generosity, bless us. God of generosity, bless us that as a church we may be generous enough to share not only from our abundance but from our own poverty let us pray to the lord god, god of, of generosity, generosity bless, bless us that public officials may be freed from greed and abuse of power let us pray to the lord god, god of, of generosity, generosity bless, bless us that widows, single parents, and orphans may grow in holiness and be blessed with God's love. Let us pray to the Lord, God, God of generosity, generosity bless, bless us. us, that the sick may unite their sufferings with the sufferings of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord, God, God of, of generosity, generosity bless, bless us, that our deceased relatives and friends may be welcome to God's eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord, God, God of, of generosity, generosity bless, bless us. Heavenly, <clears throat> Heavenly Father, open our hearts to those around us so that we may recognize your presence in our neighbors and friends and discover the happiness in sharing our life with them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Friends, pray that your my sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your bidding we dedicate to your name and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love. Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Heavenly Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love his resurrection, we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, and, and profess, profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our, our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against, against us. us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Magandang umaga, magandang buhay po sa inyo. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, now blessed are those invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my, my roof, roof, but, but only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. Be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.